Hello guys, welcome back to this course. My name is Sijish and this video I will show you how to add users, groups, service principles to the Databricks workspace. And this Databricks workspace is not Unity catalog enabled. So in case of Unity catalog enabled workspace, you have to follow a different uh, method for adding the user. So this is uh, not Unity catalog enabled and uh, this is an independent workspace. And uh, when you create a Databricks or deploy a Databricks workspace, your ID by default have admin privilege. So you can log in with that ID and you can see you will be part of admin group. So you go to the settings and go to the profile. You can see you are part of admins group. So make sure you are part of admins group so that you will get this workspace admin settings as well along with the user settings. So you can go to this identity and access from the workspace admin and here you can see the options to add or manage users, groups or service principles. Okay. So you can add the users who are already available in Azure AD or we call as Microsoft uh, Entra ID and you can group, create the groups however the group is local and the service principle also you can add but that service principle either can be uh, Databricks managed or Azure AD managed. Okay? So you can do all these three things from this identity and access uh, management option in the workspace setting. So let's try to add one user. So you can see there is only one user already available. So which is the user ID that I used for deploying this workspace. And I have added as an admin here. So I'm going to add a new user. You can use this add user button and uh, you can add the email. So go to the Databricks, uh, sorry, uh, Azure portal and uh, select Microsoft Entra. And you can see a few users that I have created. Select one of the user, okay? This is the user which I'm going to uh, add here. And add that uh, principal name of that user and add it here. So the user is added quickly. Okay. And uh, let's try to add a user which is not available in Azure AD. So we will see the message how we are getting. So I'm just using a username dummy user. I'd maybe use the same uh, domain name or same uh, the name which I used earlier. But this time the user does not exist in Azure AD. So you are getting a message like uh, so this doesn't exist. So you have to add it in the Azure AD. Then only we can authenticate to the Databricks. Otherwise user will be here but you won't be able to uh, log in or use this workspace. Okay, so you can uh, cancel this option and uh, uh, so either you have to create that or just recreate the users which are available in Azure AD. So now we have got this additional user which I uh, have added. So DBX training 01 and uh, uh, you can manage it group also like uh, so any, any of the group if you want to add you can add him. So there are two groups by default. So these are the system groups, admins and users. So by default, uh, your name will be in the users group. Okay, anyone who uh, is onboarded to this one will be in the uh, users, but admins only the admin user or workspace admin will be available in that group. So now let's uh, try to um, log in uh, portal or uh, Databricks workspace using uh, this newly added uh, user ID. So DBX training 01. So let's uh, open uh, the browser in incognito mode or we call it as a private mode because uh, we have to log into the two uh, users at the same time. Otherwise you can use uh, some other browser also. Okay. Copy this Databricks workspace URL and paste it in this browser. Okay. Then it will prompt you to type uh, the username and password. Okay, so sign in with the Microsoft Entra ID. So here, use the ID, whatever the ID we have created, DBX training 01, and its a password. So this password we have set at the uh, Microsoft Entra ID level. Okay, then sign in. So this username and password, just uh, uh, do the sign in, then yes, yeah, that's fine. 
now we did login here and we can see our uh, profile go to the settings and uh, here okay if you go to the settings uh, this page will load and you can see in the, the profile you are no longer part of any group and you are display name so we can add this user to any group by default uh, user will be in this users group but you can add him to the some other group where we want to add okay so whatever the user again if you want to add other users also you can add it into the microsoft enter id first then onboard them to the databricks uh, workspace and the group if you look okay by existing two groups are there and uh, these are the system groups and if you want to create we can create a new group by using this add group option so this group will be at the workspace level unlike a user we cannot onboard the groups from microsoft intra id so if you just create that the user uh, group will get created and uh, we can add members to this group and uh, we can do all those uh, kind of operation and here you can see this uh, group is a workspace group okay you can do modify or edit or remove all those things but the system group you can only edit but you cannot uh, remove okay so uh, these are the groups okay maybe uh, if, if you want uh, then the other option is a service principle so we can do add the service principle there are two types of service principle databricks managed and microsoft intra id managed in case of intra id managed you have to go to this uh, um, azure portal and go to the app registration and uh, do register your application okay and uh, create the secret and uh, use that option here but in case of by databricks manage you don't need to do anything you can just uh, go ahead and create so this service principle we can mainly use uh, whenever we are scheduling something uh, something like automation uh, that we do at the databricks okay so this way we have users groups or service principles that we can add to the databricks and uh, the group also let's just try to add uh, the newly added user to this group okay so let's uh, type this group name so what uh, sorry username whatever the db sorry btx db yeah sorry for the typo it's a dbx training 01 just add this user here so now we are added him to this uh, group now immediately this group is reflected here so this way uh, we can manage users groups or service principle uh, from the data bricks i hope it is clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye